everyone, it's Monica with Kids Lids for my weight loss journey, Monday, August 15th, right? Yeah, it is. So I want to tell you how well I did all the weekend and I'm so proud of myself. And uh, I told you guys that I would record yesterday, but I actually ended up, we stayed at my brother and my sister-in-law's house yesterday, so that was really cool. Um, which by the way, man, their house is like ugh, gorgeous. It was so amazing. Okay, they not only have uh, a gorgeous house, but they have a salt water pool. I've never even, I've never even seen this before. I knew that there was like salt water fish tanks, but I didn't know that you could have a salt water pool. So they have a salt water pool. I'm going to say it again, and I didn't go in it. But anyway, it was kind of chilly. Kevin did go in. Hi, Charlie. Hi. Hi, baby. Come here. Hi. There's my Charlie. Come here. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so, um, yeah, all right, so every time on the weekend that everybody was having their junk and everything, I was so proud of myself. I had to be really careful because we were traveling a lot, so, um, I didn't eat a lot of food. I have to be, I guess, conscious of what I'm eating, um, because I get really, really bad motion sickness, so when we're traveling in the car or whatever, I tend to not eat too much because my tummy does not like it. So, um, anytime that we had junk food or anything like that available to everybody else, I would have my special case cereal. Wait, did I? Yeah, I brought some special case cereal. And then I bought cantaloupe. Mom had, um, cantaloupe, honeydew, uh, peach. I bought peaches. Um, she had strawberries. She had, um, she had tons of fruit and vegetables available for me. Just put it that way. So that was so awesome because my mom rocks. And uh, we did fresh fish. Oh, man. Marina went fishing three times with Papa while she was there. They caught a ton of stuff. So we have a nice uh, couple of feeds of fish in the freezer right now ready to go for this week. Um, and uh, we did all of our back-to-school shopping. Oh, my gosh. The deals that I got are just crazy. I don't know if um, anybody around knows what the bargain shop is, but it's like... Um, a store that has amazing deals just put it that way I got six pairs of pants yeah six pairs of pants for myself yoga pants track pants like athletic pants with the stripes on the sides kind of thing um, they're not name brand obviously it's the bargain shop but hello they're gonna do me right cuz you know what when I'm being working up a sweat and whatnot I don't care if I have on you know name brand clothes so Six pairs of pants, card for Kevin, because yesterday was our two-year anniversary. Happy birthday, darling. I love you. And um, it cost me $31 and something. Like, hello. That is a little crazy. I can't get deals like that anywhere in Toronto. Marina stuff we bought all at Giant Tiger. And I actually got myself two pairs of yoga pants there as well for $12. Um, we got her... Quite a few pairs of navy blue pants because her school is flipping over to um, uniform this year so she needs to have just white plain t-shirts which we got six or seven of and the um, navy blue pants so we got her quite a few pairs of pants a pair of capris and a couple of pairs of gym shorts for all of that including my two pairs of yoga pants some chocolate for the s'mores was 142 dollars wow so major major deals i love it can you imagine if you had coupons for the stuff in there too? You'd get like, oh my gosh, anyway. All right, so speaking of the s'mores, which I just mentioned, when they had the campfire with the s'mores, I came out to the campfire, but I did not have a s'more. Does anybody know how hard that was for me? I thought I was going to die. No, I'm kidding. But um, honestly, it was really hard because if you've ever had a s'more, it's like a handful of deliciousness meant to savor. It's a graham cracker. And then a piece of chocolate, and we usually get like gourmet chocolate. So, um, anyway, this time we had Jersey milk or Hershey's available for your choice. And then we had these marshmallows that were like this big that my mom and dad found at, uh, I think they were from Giant Tiger actually. So you roast the marshmallow on the fire, and then you squish it in between that and another graham cracker, and it's like, mm, it's yummy. So, anyway, I didn't have one. <laughs> But anyway, I'm so proud of myself because I would I would honestly probably sit there and have at least two, right? 
And, I mean, by the time we got to the bonfire, it was, oh God, it was really late. It was like midnight, probably, because we didn't eat until 11. We had fresh fish, and we had corn on the cob. So, um, yeah, my mom and dad rock, because, like I said, they bought me all kinds of stuff so that I could have while everybody was having whatever they had, right? And, uh, and then we were supposed to come home yesterday, but the reason why I didn't film yesterday was because we ended up staying overnight at my brother and my sister-in-law's house. Like I said, so, um, yeah, we had a barbecue there last night and, um, I didn't have dessert, which was apple pie and ice cream. I still wanted to indulge in that, but I didn't. I was good. And then when we were watching the movie, she brought down a whole big, huge plate of different kinds of chips and pretzels and Skittles and blah, 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 blah. Like so much stuff. I didn't have any pop while we were there. I had water the whole time so proud of myself because that's really 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 hard right um especially because i'm away from the house and it's the cottage and i want to indulge but i didn't so uh i had youth trail mix not like you know the greatest snack as far as calorie wise goes but instead of having all the junk food i had a youth trail mix and i believe it has almonds cashews peanuts pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, and raisins. So, better, right? Um, and then uh, we came home this morning. Oh, yeah. We had to get up at 4 o'clock. Well, okay, wait. I had to get up at 4 o'clock, right? Because I get an upset tummy when we're traveling, so I have to get up and let my tummy have a little bit of resting time before we just take off and go. And you know what? It wasn't that bad of a ride in, I must say. Yay! It was pretty cool. So, we got home, grabbed a cab, and then kept Marina in the cab and she kept going over to camp. So, that's why, oh, no, that's not why she's not here right now. So then, yeah, so she doesn't come home and I go looking for her and I find her with our friend Karen. <sighs> you crazy kid. And um, now she's over at their house. So it's 7.30 almost and I'm filming by myself, which I told you guys that Marina would be here. So hopefully she'll be here tomorrow. I don't know because we have so much going on. And I have a cake order for tomorrow to do. Um, I'm going to try a new recipe for an easy caramel cake. I'm very excited about that. So I don't know if any of you know that either, that we, we make cakes and we do catering, um, aside from my crochet business. So we actually have a catering company as well. Um, we do a lot of decorator cakes, and uh, this one is going to be easy because it's just a regular round flat cake. She just wants easy caramel cake. So I'm very excited to make it because I haven't made it before. And I found a super simple recipe, so I'm going to try it out. Alright. And other than that, uh, I walked my butt off over the weekend, I must say, because we were just on the go everywhere. So that was really cool. So I got exercise in without even thinking about it. And um, I think that's it for today. So, um, those of you texting me, you rock, yay! If you want to text and get some support and, you know, send each other positive messages throughout the day, thank you, Melanie, you rock, I love you, um, then send me your uh, text number or your email and we can text that way. I'll text you first, kind of thing, if it's email, that's what I did with Melanie, so that she could get my, um, you know how you have, like, your phone number at bell, blah, 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 whatever it is. So, if you don't have an actual cell phone to text from, I can text your, um, your email if you want me to that's fine and uh let's see what else i have um school on wednesday and i have good news um i got a call from the doctor's office and i think i told you guys that so i have an appointment with the therapist unfortunately it's not until september 24th because i have to go late in the evening or on saturday so that was the only saturday first appointment that she had open so cross your fingers that i will be able to um, somehow, some way, gain the confidence, not the confidence, the courage, I think, the courage and just the nerve to actually go into the doctors on my next appointment, which is August 23rd, I believe, for blood work. Got a call also from them saying that my last doctor, who I thought would have had some of my information, doesn't have any information on me, so now I need to contact the doctor before him. So, if he doesn't have any information, then I'm screwed, and I have to get blood work done to see what needles I've had in my life. I'm not looking forward to any of this at all, but anyway, we're not going to think about it, and 
I'm gonna just keep it out of my mind until the day he comes because if I think about it, I would be sick, honestly. So, that's it. I'm at 10.05, and uh, for some reason, when I recorded the one before this, I was going on and on and on telling you about my brother's house, which is a mansion, by the way. Um, it cut me off at 15 minutes. I'm not sure what that's about, even though it's saying up top that I can record longer than 15 minutes. What's up with that, YouTube? So, I'm not sure. I'll have to find out what's going on with that one. It's getting a little dark. It's uh, probably going to downpour rain again, which it has done three times today. Three times? Yeah, I think so. And not just like a regular rain, like downpour torrential rain, and then stop and then get sunny. I don't think the sun will come out again because it's so late, but um, that's it for today. Like I said, sorry, I'm rambling. I'm in a good mood, and I'm recording again because I missed you guys. And uh, I have some crochet to show, but I'll do that over on my Fresh Off the Hook Monday, so don't forget if you want a friendship flower. Oh, I will show because I'm doing a siren. I can't win, right? So I will record, um, hurry up and go by. I guess I couldn't say that because, you know, they are rushing to an emergency, right? That's mean of me. There it goes. Okay, so, um, if you want a friendship flower from me, just let me know. And I got mine today from Danelle. Yay, hi, and thank you so much. They're so beautiful. She sent me two. One for me and one for Marina. So I haven't, um... Marina hasn't picked which one she wants yet, so I'm not sure which one I'm going to get. But anyway, so aren't they beautiful? They're layered. I haven't figured out how to do those yet. I'm so excited. I'll have to try them. So I'll have to figure out how she did them. They're very pretty. Anyway, and something weird, before I get cut off, look, I'm attempting to do the Rubik's Cube. So right now I have the top one done and the first top row, and I'm working on the second row. I'm determined to get this damn thing, so... <laughs> tomorrow it may be done look I've worked it so much that I'm actually working off the stickers it's Kevin's I got it for him for Christmas Spongebob you can tell that uh, I've been working it a lot in the last little bit of days so I've actually rubbed off all the plastic and now it's we're <laughs> wearing down the stickers sorry excuse me so I want to say congratulations to Beth in Texas she has been working her hoonie off and has gotten below 200 pounds you go girl love you you rock so um that's another thing quickly because i'm not doing it by weight so i think i told you guys that i wouldn't let the doctor tell me my weight so i'm gonna have to go by my clothes right and then you know how i look and blah 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 right i think i might do measurements no i don't think i can do measurements either because then it's still going to be in my head that that's what it's about it's about numbers and i don't want it to be about numbers for me just because i know i'll go ballistic with it right and then that could lead into bad things so I will see you guys tomorrow. I love you so much. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe right there. Comment down below and give me a thumbs up. You rock. I love you. See you tomorrow. Share your smile, everybody. Bye.